worst body gestures in business. Crossing your arms. When your arms are crossed, it normally implies that you are defensive about something. For this reason, it's important to always keep your arms at your sides, especially if you're discussing an important topic with other people. In addition, it is important to ensure not to look stiff and to have a natural look at all times. Fidgeting. This is not only one of the worst body gestures, but it is also one of the most annoying to the people around you. It is imperative to focus on the other person, and don't be fidgety at all. This includes things such as playing with a pen, chewing on your nails, moving your hands around a lot, or anything else that can make it appear as if you're not paying attention to what the other person is saying. Appearing stressed or anxious it is very important not to show your stress or anxiety to other people because there is nothing positive that can come from it. For one, it can show weakness, which is no place in the world of nonverbal communication. Even if you're anxious or stressed, one of the quickest and best fixes for this is to smile more. Not only will it put you at ease, but it will look as if you are confident even if you aren't. Not making eye contact. There is a fine balance when it comes to making eye contact. It is important to look people in the eye, but don't stare. However, if you don't make direct eye contact, it can appear as if you are lying or have something to hide. It is also important that you do not look down to study your hands or mess with your fingernails. Not only is this rude, but it will make it look like you are not interested in what the other person has to say. Negative facial expressions. It might be a good idea to take a day to pay attention to what you are portraying to others with your facial expressions. The following facial expressions can give off the wrong vibe to the people around you, thus creating a negative interpersonal communication experience. Frowning, biting your lip, arcing your eyebrows, flared nostrils, and scowling, just to name a few. These types of facial expressions can imply many things such as you are upset, defensive, and bored, just to name a few. In addition, never touch your face, as this implies insincerity and even distrust. We can shake. Believe it or not, your handshake can say a lot about you. Be sure to always give a firm handshake that exudes self-confidence. A weak handshake won't make a good impression, and it will imply that you are not confident in the situation. Checking the time. When you take time to look at your phone, watch, or even a clock on the wall or a desk, it implies that you don't want to be there and you have more important things that you could be doing. So never look at a time when someone is in the middle of discussing something with you. Not only will this make a bad impression, but it can also be seen as being rude. Don't stand too close or too far away. Give people their space. Never impede in someone else's space because this can give the others the wrong impression. Standing too close to someone can imply aggression or being too pushy. On the other hand, standing too far away can make people feel that you are being standoffish for some reason, and it could make people suspicious. Just always be aware of a person's personal space. If the person you are talking to takes some steps back, you are probably too close. Don't be fake. Probably one of the most important things you can do is not be fake. This is one thing that many people will pick up on and it will not reflect well on you. And remember, you only have one chance to make a good impression. Always be genuine and let people know that you are honestly interested in what they have to say. This will get you far in both your business and personal life.